Alright folks, but you guys idiot, we are back. My criminal case on Facebook. We're gonna be heading on to case 17, but we only got two more cases left. Electrical hazard. Hmm. Ace, I'm so excited. Today's the day all the inventions competing for the World Exhibition Prize will be presented in the Inventors Hall. I hope Charlie and Dick's DNA machine will receive all the appreciation it deserves. Oh, well, this was meant to be a proud day for us, Maddie, but I'm afraid it's now overshadowed shadowed by apprehension. Trouble's been brewing at the exhibition ever since it opened. Several participants have been murdered, and a giant ape threatened to wreck the city. Well, now we've proved that someone's been tampering with the inventions. I cannot rest until I know who they are. I understand your frustration, Charlie, but science does not benefit from anger, nor does detective work. Why don't you come with us to the inventor's hall? Let's make sure it's ready and safe for when it opens. Let's do it. Good morning, good morning, everybody. It's a phenomenal day. I got very little sleep last night, so you guys, I'm hoping to carry me through the day. I ended up, I'll get into it a little bit later in the stream. Victim's body, there's the electrical weapon. Don't see the key. Oh, the cat gear. Yep, there's the key. Lights are not on. Remember, it's 2.30 in the morning. Lights are not on at all. Computer screens are on, but lights are not on. Ace, that man over there is dead. I told you that the trouble with the exhibition wasn't over. Oh, well, I'll be jiggered if I know what he died of. There's no blood around the body that I can see. Only some strange burn marks on his skin. Ace, I know what caused those burn marks. Look at the device you found. The victim's injuries match the shape of its prongs perfectly. Well, this device discharges electricity, and an electric shock can cause burns. It can even stop one's beating heart. This artifact must be the instrument of the victim's demise, Ace. But I've never seen one like this before. It's not like one of the exhibits, for sure. Well, there's a golden substance on the device. Perhaps it will yield a clue. Where of the deadly sparks did you collect a sample, Ace? As for the victim, he does not resemble an inventor. He's dressed like a laborer, and wears a symbol of the Luddites. But the Luddites hate technology. I wonder what brought this man here. Well, the answer seems obvious to me. He wanted to wreak havoc at the exhibition. Remember, the Luddite's deranged leader killed an inventor already. I bet this Luddite came here to sabotage the inventions on display. Well, I admit that's a possibility. If this man was a saboteur, it certainly explained why he was attacked. That ornate key might explain who managed to get in and murder the man before the display had opened. We better dust it off, Prince. We must get to the bottom of this. You can stand on the airship, Charlie. Ace and I will take it from here. Yes, we will. Of course, we don't have any stars yet, so I'm gonna go grab some stars. I'll be right back. This is Ben Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back. We grabbed some stars. Let's head on. Hmm, fingerprints. Interesting. He's the fingerprints from the scheme. I tell us who had access to the crime scene. Let's see if the prints match anyone in our archives. That's easy, that's the sun. Didn't draw that easy. Ah, Leopold Rochester. Yep. It's no surprise that the respectable patron of the exhibit had access to the hall, but it's not the first time Mr. Rochester gets involved in a murder investigation. You're right, we should ask Mr. Rochester if he knows anything about the latest victim. Rochester. My favorite holiday is probably Christmas. Oh, 
Wow, that was really nice. Please, the kill must have lost this greasy substance on the murder weapon. We shall avail ourselves to Viola's expertise with the sample. What's up, Leopold? My apologies, but the display isn't open to visitors at this hour. Oh, it's you, Senior Trooper Ace. Charming to see you again. Well, Mr. Rochester, I'm afraid the Adventures Hall is now a crime scene. We found your key next to a murdered man. Where did you say? Blood and thunder. Apparently the victim was a Luddite. I don't suppose you're closely acquainted with them. But do you recognize this man? Oh, but this is Arnold Nottingham, a known propagandist. He is one of the poor devils who protested the exhibition, claiming the Industrial Revolution will ruin lives. Well, you could say technology ruined Mr. Nottingham's life. Someone attacked him with an electric contrivance. We suspect a link with recent acts of vandalism against the inventions. Oh, ghastly, I say. I think that someone would defile the exhibition in this manner. There's much discontent among the inventors about it, too. You only need to visit their favorite cafe to see it for yourself. Well, thank you, Mr. Rochester. Senior Trooper Ace and I will certainly visit this establishment. Yep, we've already visited it, to be fair. And we found we did the time attack trial, so we should know where everything is. What we won't know is where the clues are. <laughs> what have we got here? So we have clock. Barrel, boom, bar trays, clue, lightning bolt, and torn papers, clue as well. I'm curious, how many, um, nice, a star, perfect. I wonder how many um, subscribers we have right now. I'm gonna go take a look. What a cozy place, Ace. I can just imagine the adventures here, discussing their theories and debating ideas. But you're right, we're here to ascertain if any of these include killing a Luddite Arnold Nottingham. What did you find? This tray is bound to conceal something of interest. Let us sift through the contents. Fixing that torn paper might also provide a clue. Forty-six thousand, nice. Remember, we were at beginning of the year. We were trying to get to twenty-five or forty-five. Oh, look who's look who it is. Hey, so we know the man on the poster. It's Stanley Spark, the inventor. He's offering a reward for information on the saboteur. Mr. Sparks is a ruthless businessman who believes machines will replace humans soon. We met him when Casper Rove was murdered. As for his invention, we've only got glimpses of Mr. Sparks' fantastical suit. But he's not only determined to protect it from the saboteur. Who knows what he could have done if he thought Mr. Nottingham was responsible. I agree, Ace. Better ask Mr. Spark a few questions about this. Yep, let's go talk to Tony Stark. I mean, Stanley Stark. Spark. Whoa, pills. That's not good. Hey, so I don't detect anything unusual in that check you found on, on the tray. Someone enjoyed coffee and beer. Oh, I see the waitress's name that caught your eye. And rightly so. Her last, last name is Nottingham, same as the victims. They must be related. Then we have some sad news to impart. Let's find Susie Nottingham. See what these guys have to say. Senior Brace, did you know my genius invention is now on display at the Inventors Hall? My exosuit will take your breath away. Well, I'm sure it's spectacular. We got distracted by the discovery of a murdered Luddite. A Ted Luddite thundering steam pipes. That's music to my ears. I hope it was the exhibition saboteur. Well, interesting you say so, given your eagerness to catch the saboteur. I wonder how far you'd have gone to do so. Well, I did not kill the fellow, if that's what you mean, Senior Brace. But I don't expect me to shed a tear for the light. We Avengers do not toil to see our work ruined by ignorant swine. 
Whoa, you just called him ignorant swine. Shots fired. Welcome to the Brass Compass. What can I get you? Oh, Miss Nottingham, I'm afraid we need to ask you another relative of yours. Arnold Nottingham. He was murdered at the World Exhibition. Father is dead? How can that be? Are you sure that's not a mistake? Father would never go to the exhibition. He believed all those contraptions were the devils were. We suspect he may have gone there to destroy the inventions, or at least his killer might have believed so. Have you heard of any of your customers talk about a saboteur? I wouldn't know. The patrons here always talk about tube circuits, explosions. Ugh, and now my father's dead. He was right after all. That exhibition only brings misery for simple folks like us. I kind of agree, but at the same time, probably shouldn't have been there. Alright. Hey, so further there was another murder. I wonder if this exhibition was a wise idea after all. Well, don't let Charlie hear you. He'd think you're against progress too, like the Luddites. Oh, I'm not Maddie, but for all the marvels of new technology, some things never change, like crooks leaving behind traces on a murder weapon. My examination revealed that the grease is a type of lubricant used on the bronze bearings of a bone shaker. And as the name suggests, bone shakers are a rather uncomfortable type of vehicle. The killer must have wanted their wheels to run smoothly when they pedaled to the adventure hall. It's where a killer rides around on a bone shaker. That's no match for a Madmobile, just like the killer's no match for you, Ace. It's a bicycle. Ace, I've been a little nervous. Extenders for the exhibition prize will be presented to the public later today. Naturally, I'd be delighted to see the trophy go to our DNA machine, but there are many other worthy candidates. Fortunately, we have other matters to be anxious about, Dick. Oh yeah, of course. The dead man in the Avengers Hall. While well, Charlie's sus supposition was correct, he did indeed die of an electric shock. His heart was already weakened by age, thus even the low current provided fatal. The burn mark suggests close contact between the killer and the victim. The weapon had to be held to the victim's chest at an upward left angle, which attests that the killer is right-handed. Well, then we'll make sure to slot the handcuffs on the killer's right hand first. Oh, what's up, Pierce? Haven't, yeah, I haven't seen you in a long time. Ace, I thought the excitement of the day would be seeing the new inventions in the exhibition hall. Instead, we found a man shot to death by an electric contrivance. The victim was known Luddite, a member of the same anti-progress group whose leader was already killed and met inventor. This gives rise to the supposition that Nottingham could have been the saboteur responsible for the recent acts of vandalism against inventions. And if he wasn't, he certainly could have been mistaken for one by an angry inventor, someone like Stanley Spark, who took it upon himself to pursue the saboteur. But... Ace, we have an emergency. It's Charlie. What happened? We got into a fight with the Luddites. They're about to beat him up. Oh, brother. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Charlie. Ah. Well, I'll see you guys in the next chapter. This has been Pitching Ace 8. Over and out.